I find it always quite abstract to look at an EDM record and try to understand how this translates into something more visual. I also find some of the terms we're using very abstract, like enrichment or dereferencing. What does it mean? And how does it look like in practice? What we are going to show you in this lesson is how one record travels through your piano, from an EDM record provided by a partner to its display in your piano collections and how is it changing along the way. Let's start with a record that is provided to us. If you compare this on a high level with a transformed record that is produced as part of the Opena workflow, the difference is very obvious. From 39 lines of information in the record, it grows to 84 lines in the transformed record. And what is shown here is not even the final record with all amendments that gets displayed on the Opena collections. This already indicates that a lot of information has been added. But why is it important, necessary and good to make all these additions? First, let's have a look if we understand what is in the original record in EDM. Maybe the most important class is EDM provided CHO, which has all the information about the provided culture heritage object. It is a collodion glass plate photograph picturing a triumphal arc made of ice in Chamonix. The photograph was taken in 1909 by Maurice Louise Ranger. We learn also a bit more about the subject of the photograph and get some information about the format. For example, that its size is 13 by 18 centimeters. Second, the class or aggregation has additional data related to the culture heritage object. It tells us about the organizations involved in the creation and submission of the data, points us to digital representations for the object and associated rights for them. It is important that the record also include the identifier of the provided culture heritage object marked here in green. We'll find this identifier back in the URL of the record on the object page in your Panel Collections. To finish the analysis of the original record, we can conclude that all mandatory properties are populated, so the record is eligible to be published in your piano. Let's start processing the record and see what happens. When we look at the transformed record, we see lots of different colors. Everything black is coming from the provided EDM record and has survived the transformation process. The first thing we are doing with the provided EDM record is to check it and clean it if necessary. All cleaner properties are in bold in the XML of the record. In the case of this record, the values for EDM as shown by and EDM as shown at were mixed up, so we switched them to allow a proper link to the digital object. During the cleaning, also a little mistake in the URL for the write statement was fixed, and some language tags were added as well. Then we worked on the identifiers and also added a new class, EDM European Aggregation, which is in pink at the bottom of the record XML to add information about the country and the language of the dataset. Using the Open Collections facet for country and language, this allows us to find this set when we are looking for content from France or for content in French. After this is done, we start the dereferencing and enrichment of the dataset. Dereferencing means that we are using URIs provided with the original data to look up the information and the associated vocabularies and add this information to the corresponding contextual class we create for that purpose. In that case, a link to the Virtual International Authority files VF for DC creator is provided, marked in green. And we use the link to get the information from VF about that person and feed that information into the class EDM agent. For enrichment, we are looking for terms and some properties like DC type and look them up in vocabularies we are working with. In that case, we found the term photography and we found it in Gemit. Extracted the relevant information from there and added them to a new class, SCOS concept. All this information in these new classes coming from the dereferencing and enrichment process are visible at the bottom of each record under entities. This can become quite a long list, depending how many terms are in the original metadata that can be used for enrichment. As it is the case for that record. In the XML record, we only show the enrichment of photography, but there is much more, making the list in the open collections very long. Therefore, the screenshot is cut at the bottom. But this is not only making the record longer and longer, if you look closely at the original record, you will see that most subject terms are in French, but in the open collections, they are now in English, like black and white negatives. 
This is because I'm used to work with Yona collections in English. So this is what enrichment does. If enough language variation is in the vocabularies we are using to enrich the records. But this is not the end yet. We are still missing the technical metadata of the digital objects. We are using the link behind EDM is shown by to extract the technical metadata from the image. <clears throat> and then they are going to be added under EDM web resource. And as seen before, are also visible on UPNI collections. All the technical metadata we create can be used to filter for digital objects in a certain quality. I hope this gave you a good overview of what happened with the record in DDM that you provide to your piano. I hope it also helps you to understand what is displayed on your piano collections. Let's now have a closer look of how to use that knowledge to map metadata from MARC to EDM. <laughs>